So today we're going to be reading John chapter 11, verse 25. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. So Jesus is talking to Martha. He made a very clear cut, unmistakable declaration of who he is. He is God. Okay. He revealed that he is the resurrection. He says, I am the resurrection and the life to say that you are the resurrection and the life. It kind of puts you in a position to declare that you are God in the flesh because only God is the author of life. Only God would have, because he is the author of life, power to resurrect someone. So for Jesus to say that he is the resurrection, he is the one who's able to save. And he is life. He is the giver of life. He is the author of life. He is the sustainer of life. Jesus is telling Martha, as clear as possible, that he is God. I think that's the most, besides John chapter 8, verse 58, a powerful proclamation and declaration of the deity of Jesus Christ, of who he truly is. He never wore a mask, but it's almost like a mask off moment. Jesus Christ is God. He has resurrection power and he has life giving power. And we see this through the many miracles that he has shown. We see this in the fact that he resurrected on the third day because he's God. And as recorded in Acts chapter two, it was impossible, even though they killed Jesus, it was impossible that Jesus would stay dead because he is the resurrection and he is the life. We must remember that as Christians because sometimes our situation be looking bleak, be looking a little destitute, be looking a little rough. But we have to remember that Jesus Christ is the resurrection and life because that is our hope. Because as we fix our minds on Jesus as being God, as who he is, as he is able to manage all of our lives, we know that he is more than capable and able to manage every situation in our lives. And that one, this too shall pass. We have a greater hope, a greater life ahead of us where there's no weeping, there's no mourning, there's no death, there's no sin. For those who are in Christ Jesus. Also, he tells Martha that he, that whoever believes in him, though he may die, he also be live, he also will live. So what is Jesus telling Martha? Because he is God, who is the resurrection and the life, Jesus is saying to Martha that he has power to resurrect a person. He has the power because he is God and he is the giver of life. So even though they may die, their body may die and go to the ground and the dust you came from and the dust you will return, the Bible declares, even though you may die, those who are in Christ Jesus will live. Uh, this verse is so encouraging to me, as it should be to you, that no matter what we go through, no matter what trials we face, no matter what our future looks like, our future, eternal future is so much greater than anything we go through on this earth. That is our hope. Jesus Christ is our hope, brothers and sisters, and let us be encouraged by this. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification so you won't miss any content that's released. Be sure to check out our website at waytruthem.org. We thank you so much for your ongoing support and your love, and we pray that you continue to put God first in all that you do.